Guys, so we're going to cover some old ground today and talk about Kel Brook and his options and um, his upcoming fight. So, of course, as we know, uh, he's got an upcoming fight uh, against Kevin Bizier, March 26th in Sheffield Arena. And it will be for the IBF World Welterweight title. He'll be the champion defending. And, uh, yeah, of course, um, I do say that, as we know, uh, us hardcore boxing fans, probably yes. But the casual fans, uh, certainly not. Kell Brook has uh, gone, under, uh, gone under the radar, so to speak. Um I mean, it's tough because he was supposed to be the poster boy for Matchroom after Carl Froch retired, and now he's dwindling, uh, dwindling in the background now with Anthony Joshua uh, as the you know at the forefront of uh, Matchroom, and um, it's it's difficult for me to say because for me he's probably one of the best uh, welterweights out there. I think if anything, he probably could be everyone if um, if not the majority of them. For me, he beats Amir Khan, even though that's a very, very, very tight fight. I'd have to, I might change my mind on that, but for me, Kel Brook wins that fight. Thurman's too tight of the weight for me. Um, does, his punch resistance is not great. Kel Brook is a big, strong welterweight. Who, uh, he does struggle to weight the weight sometimes, but very strong at the weight. And um, uses his boxing skills very effectively. Uh, Porter, he's already dealt with, uh, dealt with him you know, pretty handily. Uh, Bradley would give him a good fight. I think Bradley, that's the most evenly um, poised fight for me. Uh, Pacquiao's at the twilight of his career. He's very small as well for 147. But uh, he could give him some problems. I think Brook can beat him. Uh, that's very controversial, but I think my opinion is that uh, Brook can beat him. And uh, by no means am I a Brook, uh, Brook fan, but I'm very much a Brook critic. Uh, his level of opposition has been uh, it's just been awful. It's been terrible. I mean, uh, th you can't have one standout name, Sean Porter, on your resume and you know expect th the world to take you seriously. It's it doesn't work like that. And the problem is that now that that's happened, you know, people are people were expecting more after the Sean Porter fight. He said today that um, he's looking for the Danny Garcia uni uh, unification match uh, later down in the summer after the Bizier defense. Um, it's a possibility, but it doesn't rake in a, uh, a bit a lot of money for them unless uh, Brook goes over to the states. Danny Garcia, um, I'm pretty sure, is not going to come over here, um, especially with um, him, you know, quoting the taxes being too high in the UK and whatnot. So, you know, it's better for Brook to go over to the US. Uh, he'll get a bit more money there, but nothing major. Uh, Khan's still his biggest payday, but you know, it it's hard to see where he goes. He really is. You know, he really has a lack of options, and the options that are possibly there, they're not um very attractive or they're not very viable. So um for for this the Bizier defense, I think he knocks him out within five rounds. Uh, Bizier, you know, he is just pretty ABC standard guy. Um, I did see his fight against uh Frederick Lawson, on PBC. Uh, he actually he actually fought really really well. I I give him that, but um. Frederick Lawson was a prospect at best who didn't beat anyone and he had no um, experience at that sort of level. I know Bizier uh, has lost to Jojo Dan, but Jojo Dan's been in a world title fight. So that um, even that experience is above Frederick Lawson's ex experience. But I digress. Um, you know, he's just pretty ABC uh, Bizier and, you know, does the basics. Um, I'd expect Brooke you know, doing what he did, do a demolition job, uh, Frankie Gavin and um, Jojo Dan, of course they're not glamorous opponents, but Bizier is the same sort of level as, uh, as those two, and um, see if he can uh, knock him out, as, as to where he goes from, as I said, Danny Garcia unification has been talking about today, uh, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter winner possibly, they're fighting uh, June 25th I think, uh, so that's a possible option as well. Um, you never know. Amir Khan comes back down to one four seven after um, the the fight against Canelo. However, it goes, uh, he could that could be another potential matchup. But he, he does, it's very 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 tough. Tim Tim Bradley Pacquiao winner as well. That's that's another tough fight. He'd have to go over to the states for for most of these fights. He'd have to go over to the states. He's not um, uh, well known to uh, you know the uh, the popular market. So. It's in Eddie Hearn's best interest to send him over to the States, getting more exposure than he has already had. His career stagnated, certainly, since the Sean Porter and the stabbing um, incidents. 
So he really needs to get a kick on. He's, um, you know, he's young. He's, st he's still got uh, plenty of time. He holds a world title belt. But he needs to make the world title belt his own. And he needs to, in terms of, he needs to command uh, a certain level of respect from the other the other boxers i think the other boxers um, don't bother with him because he's not fighting the credible names in the, in the division even now like um, possibly a robert guerrero would be a, at least a step up from the opponents he's, he's been facing of course it wouldn't be a glamorous fight at all you of course you wouldn't be seeing him against the adrian broners uh, if he moves up again uh the keith thurman's uh, Errol Spences, those sort of guys. You want to see, uh, the, you know, the the top top elite uh, one four seven fights go at it. But if you can't get anyone, then you know you you have to kind of peg it down a level, but not to the Kevin Bizier level. I understand he's a mandatory, but you know it, it is too low and it's short cheating us fans. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on Kel Brook. Um, are you a critic? Are you a fan? Uh, what do you think on um, what do you think about this fight? Um, how long do you think it will last um, anything else you want to talk about in regards to Kel Brook and uh, his potential future opponents as well um, yeah if you like the video please give the thumbs up and um, comment as I said uh, subscribe and share the video so it gets out to a larger boxing audience and uh, it gets broadcasted more widely and yeah take care guys and yeah peace